Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, I'm just going to be doing a little mini declutter in my collection of makeup because I am still overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I have and I was going through some swatches the other day of eyeshadows and I noticed that I had like six or seven of the same shade in multiple different things and I also have it in a pigment form. So I think I'm going to minimize a couple of things that I'm just not loving and not enjoying and I'm going to remove those things from my collection little bit by little bit. So I'll probably be doing mini declutters here and there, but I hope after this one I should be okay for a little while. Um, so let's just get right into it. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate the support. I'm going to go ahead and get started in my little declutter. So I'm going to move you guys with me. So I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of a lot in my highlighter drawer. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I apologize. Like I have you guys with me on a little stick here. Um, just going to show you what I have in my collection. And um, a lot of like things that I need to start using definitely like these MAC things uh, I need to start using a lot of these highlighters more because I think I just gravitate toward like the same thing every time so I think what I'll be doing first is like trying to figure out what it is that I want to use and then um, decide from there as I want to get rid of it if I'm not enjoying it or whatever. Um, I do have above here a couple of things I want to get rid of so this is my um, kind of like individual eyeshadow pigment drawer um everyday makeup kind of thing drawer it's just like a eclectic thing all back here are my like glitters and stuff i'm basically just gonna like pull some stuff out here and then talk to you about it um i think i'm gonna keep like all my glitters i don't really want to get rid of those yet because i do use those on halloween and like if I want to take a look like this to the next level, sometimes I'll do a double liner and add a little bit of a glitter liner. So I'm going to save all my um, glitter stuff. But I think I'm going to get rid of this pigment because I'm currently using a green pigment. This is the Ben Nye pigment in Jade. It is old and I'm probably not going to use that. Let's be honest. Like I'm using a pigment right now, which is MAC Antique Green. And as beautiful, can you even see that? It's like you can't even see that. Um, as beautiful as that shade is, I feel like that's not something that I would wear. And I don't want to force myself to wear it because it's just not going to be enjoyable for me. Like I'm already going to be using through a green. So as absolutely stunning as this is, I'm going to say goodbye to it. Same thing with this golden olive pigment from MAC. I don't know why I had to have so many pigments, um, especially in green. I don't wear green. My eyes are blue green, sometimes gray blue. They change every so often, like a little bit. And this is like a yellowy, like a golden shift to this olive green and just I'm not gonna wear it I'm I'm not gonna wear it I never wear green eyeshadow unless I'm like forcing myself which I am right now forcing myself to use one so I will be getting rid of those too I have this um cherry red from Ben Nye I'm not getting rid of that that is super pretty as well as this um pink pigment from MAC I'm, I'm not getting rid of that um, I have a bunch of like other pigments here. I'm going to keep all of those. There's Makeup Geek Pigment in Afterglow and Utopia. Utopia is like amazing. I love it. I have some really fun uh, holographic pigments from Makeup Geek. But like if you can see on this one when I got it, it was like completely, the packaging was completely shattered. Like if I didn't put tape around it, the whole thing would have fallen apart and I wouldn't have had product. So I'm kind of pissed. But what do you do? What do you do, right? I mean, I'm just going to tape it up and try and use it but I never want to touch it because I'm scared it's going to break so the next thing I'm going to take out of this drawer is all my MAC stuff so this is all MAC items in a little container just kind of put together because they're all like MAC label I don't know why I have to do that I keep my MAC separate from everything because I love it so much um I have a couple of pigments they're the really big pigments I have three of them one is in melon one is in copper beam and one is in Motion. I'm going to keep all those even though I haven't used them in years, which is a shame. Um, and then I have a couple of individual like extra dimension shadows that I never touch because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Um, and then I got a couple of singles with like when you have six empties, you back to Mac and you can get a free item. So I got those. Um, 
But yeah, this is kind of stuff that I'm not really using, so I really have to take this seriously. So I do have a lot of these little pigments that I'm going to actually start using. I used to use this shade a lot. It's called Rose. Oh, this is so beautiful. I used to use that all the time. Um, and then also, oh, this one too. This one in tan is like the same kind of finish as the one in rose. And those two were my favorite for a long time. So I had to get those when they came out in the holiday collection. And then MAC Vanilla Pigment. This is really good even as a highlighter. It's really pretty. Um, Whisper Pink. I don't want to get rid of most of these. Oh, here's the one that I have a lot of the same, like essentially the same shade in other palettes that I just never even use. So this one's called Heritage Rouge and when I used to do panning back in the day like four to six years ago I actually had this size of the MAC pigment like the really big packaging and so it of course was too old so I decluttered that a while ago and um, I was trying to pan it like a, a huge massive huge container of pigment um, and then when this came out in the holiday collection I thought I would get a new one which was of course not as expired brand new and I would dis uh, discard the other one or back to Mac the other one this is the shade right here in Heritage Rouge it's an absolutely beautiful color but I just I don't use it and I have it in like four to five other palettes and so if I really need it I can gravitate to one of those and give this one a better home or back to Mac it uh, but I'm going to keep the other pigments. Um, but back to that other, like the panning thing. So I tried panning it and I did really, really well. But I wore it every single day for like a month or more. And it was just, it was too much. Like, I didn't enjoy doing it. I was not getting use out of my other palettes. It was just, it. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't have fun. So I guess maybe that kind of is giving me this like extra, like you need to declutter this kind of moment. Because... I just don't feel it anymore when I look at that. I just overused it and it wasn't fun for me, so it ruined everything. Um, but getting back to the other things. So I have these eyeshadows in a Guilt by Association and Smutty Green. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm not getting rid of these at all. I'll show you the Smutty Green one. So I know I don't really wear a lot of green eyeshadow, but I used to wear this quite often because of the glitter in it. So if you put a nice dark base underneath that, holy smokes, this is so beautiful. And it's the same thing with this Guild by Association and Cinderfella. They have the same, so this one, Cinderfella is like a silver grayish version. And then Guild by Association is like the gold version. Um, but yeah, I just don't use them because I have so much other stuff. So, you know, I... I feel like I'm missing out on all these things that I think are so amazing because I just have too much crap. This one is called Carefree. And at first I thought I was going to absolutely love this and wear it all the time. And it's really pretty, but it's just, I don't use it. And it's right beside, um, it's right here. This like shifty kind of goldish tone. I don't need this because I do have this in so many other palettes and singles. Like I have this similar shade. So I think I will be decluttering that. So that's four items I'm already decluttering, which I'm really, really proud of. But everything else in here, like we've made a good chunk. This was not, this had no space before, but now it's got some room so that it can grow down the road or maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'll just compile my stuff and feel a lot better about what I have. And the next thing I'm gonna work on is my everyday makeup stuff. So I noticed that there was a couple of uh, things in here that weren't, I wasn't loving and I wasn't using. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a declutter out of my everyday makeup drawer or my shop my stash makeup drawer thing. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna get rid of is again a MAC item, which is really sad because I am a MAC lover. I'm obsessed with MAC. Um, this one is in the shade Love Connection and I bought this when I went to Florida. I have the two shades down here. You can't even see this one. But I never use it and so I will be decluttering that. I want to be able to enjoy my stuff. Um, I'm debating on this Naked Basics palette. I have two of them and I've used this a handful of times but I don't know. Like I feel like it's an absolutely beautiful palette, but if I want these shades, I'll use my bigger MAC palettes. 
So it's just I keep these in case I go traveling. Where in the heck am I going to travel to right now? Right? Like, <sighs> this one's a hard one because I don't necessarily need it, but I'm having this issue in here <laughs> that's saying, like, keep it because you may need it later and I don't want to repurchase it. So I might hang on to that one. Um, I'm considering getting rid of this redhead highlighter because I'm forcing myself to use something that I used to love because I've gotten a decent amount of use. I hope you can see this. A decent amount of use out of this side. So it used to have a pretty good dip and, or um, sorry, it was like a, you know what I mean, right? Like, you know what I mean. It used to be like a hump on there. And now it's got like a nice divot going on this side. So I've used up quite a bit of it. But um, it just doesn't bring me happiness anymore. I'm not like excited to use it because I have other things. So you know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, so I have decluttered most of my face products already and most of my like eyeshadow palettes and like highlighters and all that kind of stuff. However, I do want to give another sift through my eyeshadow palettes, um, one of my three drawers, um, because they're really starting to dwindle down a little bit. Although I do have a haul video coming, I'm just waiting for another um, package or two. I think two packages I'm waiting on um, and so once I get that uh, I will be doing a collective haul video for my Sephora purchases and drugstore purchases and so um, I want to make sure that I go through my eyeshadow drawer because I have bought new things and I want to make sure that there's room for those things to go in um, because I'm excited about the new stuff and I'm not using the old stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at my eyeshadow drawer As you can see this is my little eyeshadow drawer um, Again, we've already gone through this recently, so I apologize that I have like so many declutters going on. But um, I don't want to get rid of any of my Urban Decay eyeshadows. I'm, I've never ever ever used this like Urban Decay, um, the original, and I never use Naked Two, but I use Three and Heat often. Um, but I think I'm gonna hang on to those for now. I'm going to hang on to these Urban Decay ones and I've already decluttered one of my Too Faced palettes because it was old and it needed to go. Um, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the uh, Too Faced holiday palette from years ago and it's really, really pretty. Let's see. It's really, really pretty, but I just, I feel like it's just not cutting it for me and someone else could get more use out of it or love out of it. So I'm just going to declutter this one. Ink. That's pretty much it out of here. I actually want to invest in Lorac 4 because I only have three. And um, for like years and years, I didn't even really do much with makeup. And I didn't even know that they came out with a Lorac 4. So like I have to have that in my life. So once it comes back in stock, I'll probably end up getting that and putting that in here. Because I do actually really like the Lorac eyeshadow. As you can see, I get quite a bit of use out of that. Um... But I really need to use my makeup more. <laughs> I'm going to be like barely getting rid of anything in here. This is just my like everyday, everything I use all the time drawer. It's, it looks like overwhelming, but I have this sorted out really well for myself. Um, so I just want to go through a couple of things and get rid of stuff that I'm not using. And um, that's pretty much it. There's probably not going to be a lot, if anything. But I just want to have a look and see. Um... So I have my concealers right here up at the front. And, um, oh, this is a really good um, eye makeup remover if you guys are looking for one. I was going to get this at the sale, but I I don't know why I didn't get it. I think it's because I have quite a bit of eye, eye makeup remover already. Um, I need all these studio finish concealers. Okay, I think I'm going to actually get rid of this. This is a Summerberry Lip Scrub scrub Scrubshiss lip scrubshiss can you see that lip scrubshiss i think it's called uh it's from mac and it looks like this and i have used it but god it smells delicious um but it's just not my favorite thing like i i prefer using the um what is it here mary Kay. 
this stuff is bomb like I love this stuff you guys should try that but this one I think I'm gonna get rid of it and create some space for myself in here um I don't think I want to really get rid of anything else I think that's pretty much all I want to get rid of out of here I do have one other drawer, which is all of my MAC eyeshadows, but it's so heavy, I'm not even going to bother taking the drawer out of my vanity. Um, but it, I'm going to get rid of one of my little 9-pan eyeshadows, and it looks like this. And it's just really, really a light, like purpley, gray-toned, silvery purple palette. Um, the only shades that I like are Blackberry and metal mauve or metal mauve however you guys say it I say mauve, uh, mauve so those are the two shades that I like the best and it just isn't worth it for me to keep an entire palette for two little itty bitty shades that I have never even really used and I have a full size uh, pan of blackberry already in another palette so um, I'll actually show you guys that one so you can understand why I'm getting rid of this one this is my like every single time I need purple this is what I use so I will 100% use that and I do have Blackberry in here already so I don't need this so I will be decluttering that as well. And I think that's pretty much it you guys. I've done better than I thought I was going to. So here is everything that I'm getting rid of. So we have two eyeshadow palettes, um, pigment, 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 single eyeshadow, duo eyeshadow, and a highlighter and a lip scrub so this is like really helping me feel a lot more confident in like everything like I like any kind of makeup that I want to use I feel like I don't have like extras sitting in there that are distracting me or overwhelming me so yeah I'm really I'm really happy about this all right you guys that's it I think I can call this declutter done thank you guys so much if you've watched till the end I really appreciate your support and again I hope you hit that like button and the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more videos from me um, I will eventually have some other videos up with tutorials and things I'm just waiting for my new light system to get here system it's a ring light I'm just waiting for that to get here so I proceed with better lighting and giving you guys like the optimum view of what's going on <laughs> Uh, but I'm really happy and I'm looking forward to that coming. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, just be safe and take care of yourself. And I will look forward to talking to you guys again in the very soon future. Bye.